It's called Mega Millions, but there's more than a billion bucks up for grabs in tonight's humongous jackpot. We're dreaming big this morning. CBS Philadelphia's Ross DiMatteo is at a Wawa in Media, Delaware County. Good morning, Ross. You could certainly have a lot of fun with that sort of money. <laughs> you bet, Jim and Jan. Yeah, it's been busy. Tickets are selling like hotcakes, so I know I'm not the only one waking up and asking the question, what would I do if I won a billion dollars? Allow me to rain on that parade a little bit. Your odds of winning that jackpot are less than one in 300 million. Statistically, you're more likely to get struck by lightning at some point in your life or to get in an accident on your way to getting your lottery ticket. Of course, I'm not wishing that on anyone. That's just the reality of the situation. That said, good luck to everyone who's playing out there. It's been about three and a half months now since anyone has won the Mega Millions drawing. And 30 straight drawings without a winner. That's helped this grand prize balloon to $1.25 billion. That's the sixth largest in lottery history. And as good as that amount sounds, you know it's not going to be that full amount after taxes. You have to get uh, the 30 year annuity payment to get even close to that. And most winners, of course, prefer the lump sum payment, which in this case would be about $625 million. Again, before taxes. Either way, no matter how you slice it, it's a lot of money. And with all of that money up for grabs, it's got a lot of potential players dreaming big. I'm probably going to buy a small island somewhere in the tropics. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah. Why an island? Um, I don't know. I like the water. It's very relaxing. I feel like uh, Richard Branson's got the right idea. First thing I'm doing, Colleen, is I'm buying you that condo in Wale of Maui. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Get on a spaceship. Go to Mars. Any any planet that no one hasn't, no one's been to yet. There's so much out there. I think there's aliens out there. You know, I think that's a possibility and reality. And not that I'll run into anyone, but I, I would like to think I would represent um, Earth pretty well if I did. There you have it. We got private islands, condos in Hawaii, maybe being Earth's ambassador to a new alien race. Really, the possibilities are endless when we're talking about a billion dollars. If you're asking me personally, guys, I'm getting a private yacht. We're talking Jeff Bezos style, private chef, private captain, and I'm sailing the world on my schedule. What are you guys getting? First thing you do is change your identity. I've started filing, <laughs> I've started filing off my fingerprints so no one can find me. <laughs> Jim's also always the reasonable one. Make yes. sure you get the business things done first. Oh, yes. Do not tell anybody you want and find a good attorney. Mm -mm. Otherwise, I'm calling Jim's attorney yes, first thing. Exactly. That's the, that's Otherwise, the people will right come there. out of the woodwork. <laughs> it is true. Okay. I'm not lending anybody in. You have family that you never knew you yeah, had. Yeah, exactly. If you win that <laughs> mega millions, okay? Thank you, Ross. Appreciate it. Good problems. Yes, yeah. good problems to have indeed.